this is a lung of a smoker. And we're on medium power right now, uh, 100 times total. You can see there's, there's some alveoli. The cut's not as good as the cut through the, uh, the, the normal lung. But what you really need to look at here are these deposits here. And these are carbon particles, basically, from the smoke that the person was inhaling over their life. And they deposit within the lungs. Uh, that photograph of this slide shows this right here. And you can tell this right, this little tube, that's a bronchiole where the pointer is. And if I zoom in on it, you can see the, uh, the same, that same sort of uneven edge that we saw in the other, in the other uh, lung slide right there. And those are the ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium again. And then there's lots and lots of this black particulate matter. So when you breathe in, when you smoke, uh, you're breathing in these, this burning, this burnt uh, plant matter. And then that sticks to the mucus inside of your lungs, which you produce to, to trap stuff, and it traps it. But if you keep on smoking it, you end up uh, paralyzing the cilia that are supposed to move it out. So you just get deposit more and more and more of it. Uh, and, that's, and there's carcinogenic substances in there that'll, that'll give you cancer eventually, so go figure. Um, however, if you do stop smoking, uh, your lungs will clean themselves out. Now you can do a lot of damage, but they will, uh, you know, potentially at least recover uh, in large part if you stop. Uh, just think about it, if you're standing at, by a bonfire, uh, do you go to the downwind uh, region of the bonfire? Do you go where the smoke's blowing directly in your face? No, you don't. You go to the other side. So why would you just light some bonfire and breathe it in on purpose?